Hello, my name is Zachary Petrie, and this is the mobile cottage. Um, just finished building it last month, December 2014. Started in August 2013, so just under uh, 18 months. Um, we're here in North Oakland, almost South Berkeley. Uh, I built it here in the backyard of the home that I rent. Um, built it by myself. I did have, there were two days where I had a couple friends help me out. Um, thank you, David. Thank you, Simon. Um, but other than that, it was just me. Uh, and I did have an electrician come in and look at the work and sign off on it just to make sure that everything was wired properly. Um, but let's take a tour. So this is the outside. Uh, we will start with the lattice. So I wanted to utilize space. The um, front porch area is too small to have potted plants. So I actually put a membrane in there and poured soil into the walls. Um, and because I wanted ivy to come up the lattice. So there's ivy in there. And it's winter time here. So um, the ivy's kind of in winter mode. It hasn't been getting too much water. But it's, it's fine. It's been growing. It started as just like little ivy plants so it's grown this much and maybe four months, five months. Um, these windows are, uh, I got these at an antique store from a home that was um, built in 1880. This is hand cut beveled glass um, and there's a second window here. So it adds some nice kind of light refraction in the morning when you're on the porch area. Well, I guess we'll walk around. Um, so it's on a 20 foot trailer bed. Um, I have the heaviest duty tires you can get that will fit those wheel wells. They're grade E. Um, and so there are four wheels. I think the total gross weight that they can carry is 11,250, right around there. The house actually weighs probably close to that, um, right around there. but tow vehicle is going to take probably 1,500 pounds, so it, it'll be fine. Um, the uh, trailer came with scissor jacks at each four corners, um, which is very helpful, but you can see I have it up on blocks, um, which is what I would recommend if you were to park it anywhere, uh, putting it up on blocks. Also utilizing the scissor jacks, the more points of contact, the more stable it is. Right now, it's on two back scissor jacks and four blocks, and then the tongue uh, jack. Um, so that's seven points of contact, and it's stable. Uh, the only thing, like if you're in the loft space and moving around, you can feel it move a little bit, but it's pretty solid. Um, there are a lot of windows in this house. Um, double hung uh, wood clad windows, so the vinyl on the exterior, and you'll see when we go inside, they're pine on the interior. Um, there's a outboard or out, outdoor uh, motor vent, so I did that so uh, you wouldn't hear the motor when you're inside the house. I, had, I have a friend who, who built one um, in Louisiana, and I know that he had mentioned that the sound of the vent, the bathroom vent, was something that got annoying. He changed it by adding like a little sound barrier, um, but I uh, thought I would start with that. So there's a, there is ducts that lead to registers both in the bathroom and also one over the stove. Um, the siding is western red cedar. It's already primed and treated, um, so the color that you see is actually how it came. It's primed. Uh, and um, it kind of has a weathered look. Um, but this would be painted if the, per the person who purchases the home wants me to paint it a certain color. They just need to tell me what to paint it. And then I hand uh, hammer drove in all of the nails. Um, I didn't want to use a um, nail gun. I don't know why, but I wanted to do it all by <laughs> hand, and so I did. And so it took a while, but uh, they're in there, and 
well secured and it kind of gives it a little, little bit more of a hand craftsman look. Um, what's nice about the, uh, the house is kind of the size and, and storage of the house. There's plenty of storage. There's also exterior storage. Um, so you have this whole cavity here. So you can store tools, you can store brooms, um, and on the other side, it goes all the way through, there's just a shelf up here. On the other side, uh, you have two propane tanks that uh, connect to the tankless water heater and also to the stove inside. 